Okay, now we're going to talk about finding the averages of data strings. So an example of a data string would be something like 1, 5, 11, 13, 21, 41, 52. Okay, so that's our data string. And we're going to be asked to find the mean the mode and the median and of course the median is also called Q2 and Q1 and Q3 and the last one is the interquartile range okay so that's the question now the mean is easily calculated by adding up all of the numbers so it's 1 plus 5 plus 11 plus 13 plus 21 plus 41 plus 52 and dividing by how many numbers there are and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers so if we add all of that up and divide by 7 we get 144 over 7, which turns out to be 20.6 to one decimal place. So that's what the mean is. Add them all up, divide by how many there are. Now the mode is the most frequent. Um, now there isn't a most frequent number. They're all as frequent as each other. They've all got one of each, 1.5, 1.1, 1, 1, 1.11, 1, 1, 1.13. 121, 141, 152. So there is no mode. There is not anything that is the most frequent. So how do we calculate the median, Q2? Well, what you did before, if you remember, is you made sure that they were in order. 1, 5, 11, and they are in order already, aren't they? But if they weren't, you'd have to put them in order. And then you'd cross off to find the median. And the median would be 13. So Q2 would be 13. And it's fine doing that. Um, remember that if you're left with two numbers in the middle, then um, you'd have to find the mean of the two, the two numbers. But there is a faster way to do that. Um, and we use this method because you might have a lot of numbers, a lot of numbers to find the median of. And if you remember, um, the median, remember that the median, which is Q2, is the total cumulative frequency divided by 2 value. But we don't have a cumulative frequency here, or do we? Uh, so we'll say, what is the CF? Well, the CF in this case, the cumulative frequency, is simply the number of digits that there are. Well, why is that the case? Well, it's quite simple, because if we were to do a table of the, the data. Against the frequency. Well, we've got 1, 5, 11, 13. Move this up a bit. 21, 41, 52. There's only one of each of these. So that's the frequency for each one. So the cumulative frequency just goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the total frequency, uh, so the total cumulative frequency is just 7, which is the number of data points that there are. So if you don't have a data table and all you have is a data string, like, like that, then the cumulative frequency is just the number of 
numbers that you've got, which of course is 7. So that tells you that Q2 is the 7 over 2 value. And what's the 7 over 2 value? Well, you go down the cumulative uh, frequency until you get to 7 over 2. That's, of course, the 3.5th value. And 3.5 lives in between 3 and 4. So we go along until we get the one largest number, and we get 13. So that means that the median is 13. And that's the same as we got earlier on. If you remember, early on we crossed off all these numbers and got the median. So instead of that, we could have used the other technique, which is to find the 7 over 2 value, which is the 3.5 fifth value, go down the cumulative frequency in between 3 and 4, and then go to the next one higher, which is 13. So how do we calculate um, the other things that we're asked to? So the next one we're asked to calculate is Q1 and Q3. So let's have a look at Q1. Q1 is the, and you take the total cumulative frequency, which is 7, which is the number of numbers that we've got. Um, because they've all got a frequency of 1. So it's the number of numbers, 7, and it's divided by 4. So it's the 7 over 4th value. And 7 over 4 is the 1.75th value. So we go down the cumulative frequency until we get to where 1.75 would be, which would be in here. And then we choose the next highest number, which is 5. So Q1 is 5. And now we calculate Q3 in the same way. The Q3 is the 7 times 3 quarters value. Okay? Which is, and if we work out 7 times 3 quarters on the calculator, you get 5.25 value. So it's the 5.25 value. So again, you walk down the cumulative frequency and you find out where 5.25 would be and it would be in between 5 and 6. So in here, along there, and then you point to the next one, which is 41. So the median is 41. Uh, sorry, the Q3 is 41. And the last thing we were asked to calculate is the interquartile range. And if you remember, the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, which is 41 minus 5. And 41 minus 5 is 36. So the interquartile range is 36. OK, here's another example. We have got a table with some data. And it's a grouped table. So we've got some uh, times that go from 0 uh, up to f including 5, and then from 5 up to and including 10, and then 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25. And we're given the frequencies of those times. Um, you have to remember that each one of these is called a class. Okay? So these are called the classes. So this is the 10, the time from between 10 and up to 15, and including 15. That's that class from 10 to 15. Okay? This is the class 20 to 25. And we're asked to find the modal class, the mean time, the class that contains Q1, the median class, which is also a way of saying the class that contains Q2, and we're asked to find the class that contains Q3. 
Okay, so let's have a go at that. Now the first thing that we need to remember to do is to complete the table. Okay, so I'm going to complete the table. I'm sorry, I copied this from a book so that the picture is a little bit slanted. Um, now to complete the table, what we need to be able to, to calculate is the cumulative frequency. So let's do that now. So let's be careful. We've got 19. Then add this 23. So that gives you 42. Then add another 23. That gives you 65. Then add the 7. That gives you 72. And then add the 3. That gives you 75. So that's the cumulative frequency um, sorted out. Now we also want to calculate the center value. We'll call that T again. Um, and the center values are used to calculate the mean. So these, let's call this the center values. So the center between 0 and 5 is 2.5. The, uh, the center between 5 and 10 is 7.5. And then halfway between 10 and 15 is 12.5. And halfway between 15 and 20 is 17.5. And halfway between 20 and 25 is 22.5. Uh, we also want to calculate the largest values of the time for each one, and we'll call that t. So that that's the upper the upper side of the boundary. So in this case, it can be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. Okay. So let's answer these questions now. First of all, the modal class. So one, the modal class. Let's change the color to do the answers to brown. The modal class is the one with the highest frequency. Um, but the problem here is that there isn't one with the highest frequency. So there is no modal class because these, both of these got the, the same frequency and they're both the same highest frequency. So therefore, there is no modal class because they've both got the highest frequency. So there is not a frequency which has the most in it. So you say that there is no modal class since uh, 5 less than t less than or equal to 10 and 10 less than t less than or equal to 15, both of those have the same frequency. Okay, so there's no mode. There's no modal class. Let's have a look at question two. Well, this is called one and two. Find the mean. Now the mean is calculated by adding up the sum of the center values times the frequencies. Okay, so we need to calculate that. So let's do another table. And that's going to be the center values, that's those, multiplied by the frequency. So that's going to be 2.5 times 19 and then 7.5 times 23 and then 12.5 times 23 and then 7 uh, so 17.5 times 7 And the last one is 22.5 times 3. And that's the center times the frequency. 
And we add all those up. Um, we add all, all those up together. So 2.5 times 19, and then add 7.5 times 23, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we get a value of get a value of 697.5. So the mean is 697.5 divided by how many there are. And how many there are is the sum of the cumulative frequencies, which is 75. So we work that out on the calculator and we get 9.3. So the average is, uh, so the mean is 9.3. Uh, sorry, 9, that's not right. Let me just calculate that again. Oh, it is right. Sorry, it is right, 9.3. Okay, then the next thing we need to do is to find the class that contains Q1. So this is what we did in class. So Q1 is the... Now remember you need to find the total cumulative frequency. That's 75. And divide it by 4. And you say it's the 75 over 4 value. So the 75 over 4 value, and 75 over 4 is 18.75. So it's the 18.75 value. Okay? Now, so we'll remember 18.75, and we're going to go up and walk down the cumulative frequency until we get to 18.75. It would fit inside here. Agreed? 18.75 uh, actually 18.75 goes before the 19 so that goes in, into this class here the first one naught less than t less than or equal to 5 so the class so this is in the class naught less than t less than or equal to 5. Okay? Um, the next thing we're asked to find is the median class. So 4, which is Q2. Okay? Is the, well, Q2 is um, the median. And that is the 75, remember we take that 75, which is the total CF, divide that by 2, and that's the 75 of tooth value. And 75 over 2 is 37.5 value. So remember 37.5, and you see where does that come? Uh, so 37.5, that appears in between the 19 and the 42. So you go in between 19 and 42, and then go down to the next one. So that's between 5 and 10. So, that is in the class. This is in the class... It's the second class down, 10 less than or equal to, sorry, 10 less than t, less than or equal to 15. And the last question asked us to calculate Q3. Well, this is the 75 times 3 quarters value. And 75 times 3 quarters is 56.25 value. So remember 56.25 and we go down the cumulative frequency until we get to that. And that fits inside here, doesn't it? In between the 42 and the 65. So it goes along there and then down again to the next highest um, 
class, which is 10 less than t less than or equal to 15, this one. So that is, this is in the class 10 less than t less than or equal to 15. And I just realized that I made a mistake, I hope you noticed it, that that was wrong, because the 37.5th value, if we look on here, 37.5th value goes in between here and here. So I should have written down that class there, 5 to 10. The last question is to ask us the interquartile range. Interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. Oh, well, we can't calculate the interquartile range because we don't actually know what Q3 is. We don't actually know what Q1 is. All we know is that the class that Q3 and Q1 lie in. So the only way really to do that would be to draw a cumulative frequency curve um, and then estimate Q3 and estimate Q1. But that's not really in, as part of this question, so we'll, we'll not do that. So you won't be asked to calculate the interquartile range for group data like that. Let's do a really nice, simple example just to finish off um, which explains all the things that you'll need to be able to calculate from a table of data. We're going to do non-grouped data this time. So let's say, for example, we have got a uh, number of sheep in a field. Okay, the number of sheep in a field. Um, and we've got the frequency. So we've got, let's say there's six sheep in a field, and we've got five fields. There are nine sheep in a field, we've got four of those. Uh, Ten sheep in a field, we've got three of those. Twelve sheep in a field, we've got four of those. And fourteen sheep in a the field. There's only one of those. And we're asked to find the following things. We're asked to find... One, the mode, the modal number of sheep. Two, the mean, the mean number of sheep. This is the mode number of sheep. And th three, uh, the lower quartile. Q1, uh, 4, Q3, 5, the range, and 6, the interquartile range. Okay, so that's the problem. Let's just make that a nice bit smaller, and let's have a go at the question. So first of all, the mode. The mode is the one that's most frequent, so we'll work, look along and see which one has got the highest frequency. Ah, that's this one. So the number of sheep is six. So the mode is six. So that's the sheep with the highest frequency. Okay, two, the mean number of sheep. So what we need to do is to complete the table. So let's do our table again up here. Number of sheep, and we're against the frequency, and 
remember we would like to calculate the sheep times the frequency and also the cumulative frequency. So we've got sheep is 6, 9, 10, 12, 14. And the frequencies are 5, 4, 3, 4, 1. And the sheep times the frequency is 6 times 5, which is 30. 9 times 4, 36. 10 times 3 is 30. 12 times 4 is 48. And 1 times 14 is 14. And the last one is the cumulative frequency. Go along and pick up the frequency. That's 5 plus another 4 is 9 plus another 3 is 12 plus another 4 is 16, plus one more is 17. So the mean is the total of the sheep times the frequency. So it's 30 plus 36 plus 30 plus 48 plus 14 divided by how many uh, sheep there are and the total number of sheep is 17. And if we do that on a calculator, we get 164 over 17, uh, which is 9.65. 9.65 sheep. That's the mean number of sheep. Okay, and uh, three, the lower quartile. Well, Q1 is uh, the one quarter times this 17 figure. 17th value, so quarter times the 17th value. And 17 uh, divided by 4 is 4.25. And so it's a 4.25 fifth value. So we go along until we get to 4.25. Oh, it's here. Okay. We haven't even got there. So it's this one here. So therefore, we go... I'll just do this in red. Just straight up and choose the next biggest one, which is 6. All right. And make that slightly smaller. Okay, so the next thing we want to find out is the lower, uh, we've done the lower quartile, is Q3. So Q3 is the 3 quarters times 17 value. Okay, so you take the, remember you take the highest, the total of the cumulative frequencies and you multiply it by 3 quarters. And 17 times 3 quarters is 12.75. So that's 12.75 value. And where's the 12.75 fifth value? We go up to here until you get to 12.75, it lives in here. So you go up and along until you get to the 12. So let's do that in green. So the 12.7 fifth value is in here, go up, go to the right, and it's the tw uh, 12. So therefore, this is equal to 12. So Q3 is 12. Uh, the range. Well, the range is the largest value minus the smallest value. So uh, the range is the largest value minus the smallest value. And the largest value is 14. And the smallest value is 6. So there's 14, there's 6. And so therefore the range is 14 minus 6, which is 8. 
Uh, the last part of the question is to calculate the interquartile range. So the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, which is 12 minus 6, which is 6. The only other thing that you could have been asked to do is the median. So we'll just do the median for the sake of uh, completing it. So Q2, well Q2 is the 17 over 2 value. And 17 over 2 is of course 8.5. So it's the 8.5th value. So if we go in our table, walk along the cumulative frequency, 8.5 lives in here. So you go up and along and that would be 9. That's also a course called the median. Q2 is the median.